so I'm here today with Laura who is an apprentice at Bombardier and is the same age as me but taken a different route into engineering so over to you Laura, tell us about your your role, okay, uh, your learning. I'm an apprentice mechanical and electrical engineer so I've uh, been doing it for about a year so far and I'm really enjoying it. What's your favourite part? Um, probably doing the fitting side of things rather than the electrical is the best part about it I'd say. What's the most exciting experience you've had or thing you've learnt so far? Uh, I think learning to um, put the body size on the actual trains is most exciting because you get to see it go from just a roof and an underframe to a whole train. What would be your dream project to work on? Uh, I think my dream project is uh, the Crossrail project which is um, starting in a few months time because it's uh, the biggest bid they've had for a long time so it would be good to get on that. How much fun do you have as an engineering apprentice then? Uh, it's good to get to have a good laugh with everyone, there's different personalities, it's good because good it's practical so you're not just sitting around all day. Yeah, you find out about everyone else's families and personalities, so it's just good to get to know everyone. A little engineering fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you do form a bond with everyone. Yeah. If you could have taken a subject at school that you didn't, with hindsight that you have now, would you have done anything differently? Yeah, I would have um, took engineering as, at my GCSEs at school, cause just to give you a bit more experience, but you don't need to worry, because I didn't do it at school, so it doesn't stop you from doing an engineering apprenticeship at all, I don't think. Do you use maths and physics then in your day-to-day, because -day? obviously they're the, probably the main two subjects associated yeah. with engineering? Um, I'd say you use maths the most, but physics, you're doing the theory side, but as a, like at work doing practical stuff, you don't need physics too much to actually put a train together. Yeah, well, you probably do, but like, without realising yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I suppose you don't, you don't think yeah. I'm doing physics today, but yeah, you yeah, can exactly. as well. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean, yeah. Why did you choose engineering over any other apprenticeship then? I think I chose it because um, it's a practical job to get into. I like being practical, but also it's you can go anywhere with it, really. It's not just a... You don't stay in one place, you can move up, or you can go different routes with it. So it's, I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, we <laughs> are. Have you ever thought that being female would make any difference whatsoever to your career as an engineer? No, I mean, it's. Uh, I see how, why some people could think that, but when you actually get into it, no one makes you feel different. Everyone's welcome, welcomes you with open arms, sort of thing, and they're all friendly and want to have a laugh with you just as much as they do the, the men, so yeah. More girls in engineering, yeah. That's what we want. <laughs> <laughs> so, would you have one piece of advice then for a young girl thinking of maybe going into engineering? Yeah, just, I mean, don't be worried about what people might think of you or if you think you might be treated differently because not, it's not going to be like that and just go for it, do it. It's, it's good, so it's good to be different if you think that is a different thing to do. So. Good. <laughs> cool.